Hello guys, today we will be reviewing the bootleg SV Action Sentinel, Peter B. Parker. And this is actually quite special because I actually didn't get this off of AliExpress. I got it from my store, like my main store. Now this is pretty great because I didn't have to wait and all that. So now I can just review it. So here's, I know you aren't here for the box, but I'm gonna show you anyways. This looks great. I'm gonna be putting it as a background for the back of my stop motions and videos. So stay tuned for that. And it looks great. It looks like the normal box from the normal Peter B. Parker from Sentinel. Now, now for the figure. Ta-da! Oh my, just stand up, please. <laughs> stand up! No! Okay, so now that we've got the figure posed, let's take a full look at it. Look at him. He looks pretty good. Now, before we check out the accessories, let's see how he scales with other figures. Here's Peter with Miles, iconic duo. Here's him next to the Mayfex Spider-Man. They look very similar. It's just the, the paint apps, just different. So, so now we are gonna be looking at accessories okay so now that we've got all the accessories assorted now let's take a look at them so first hands that i assorted in the pack were these grabbing hands these were made to hold this ex included newspaper but that end up that doesn't include with the bootleg so well that sucks but I can print, I could probably make my own or DIY stuff. You know what I'm saying. So, yeah, these were made to hold the newspaper that he'd be included with. And, yeah. Okay, let's put them aside. Now, the second hands that I wanted to put on were these wall crawling hands pretty good these look amazing it really expresses the fingers really express when they're pressing against the wall look their fingers are almost like i if you can see them yeah look they're a bit bent like they're pushing against the wall you can do like this or something like that pretty cool now included hand was the mug hand this was included in the poster for the box and I will show that later oh you probably already saw it but yeah okay so now we are gonna check out these typing maskless uh gloveless hands look at them they look pretty good oh shoot <laughs> peter is pulling out the rude finger damn he wasn't chill bro he ain't chill these were made to create the scene where he's typing on a computer without gloves or maybe something like that, I forgot. Uh. Okay, so now... Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so now we have these web grabbing hands. They look pretty cool. And, yeah, they look your standard type. Holes in the hands so they can hold the web. And yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, now we have these relaxed hands that he had came with in the box. Like, 
they were full on attached to him. And it looks pretty cool. They actually really done well with the fingery bones. Like, uh, like, bone, bony fingers. <laughs> fingery bones. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Anyways, okay, so they catch the bony fingers a lot. They did that with the open hands too, which I have on right now. I'll show you that later. So now we have these web shooter hands. Now, unfortunately, the web is attached to the hand. So you'll have to customize the hand so it can get off. Yeah, that sucks. But it is what it is, I guess. Now, cool, cool thing about this figure is that it, this comes with the original, but a, a different crotch piece and a different belly torso piece. Now this is to recreate, this is to recreate Peter, Peter B. Parker's build in the movie. He's all chunky and fat and all that. Well, not chunky, but like he, he's a little bit overweight. Don't, I don't mean to be rude, Peter B. Parker, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it recreates the build of an overweight Spider-Man in sweatpants, yes, matter of fact, they should have included sweatpants in this figure, because they did it with Miles Morales, they did some different pants, different clothing, all that, now, Let's take a look at these two heads. Now, these are the unmasked heads. <sighs> the thing that I had about these, Spider Criminal pointed this out. The McFarlane look. The, the McFarlane side eye. If you ever saw a McFarlane figure, you'd see the side eyes is always there. And I got to hit it! Like, if Uncle Ben died, this would be his face. What? They could have at least put the straight eyes on this one to recreate. Oh, I'm so sad. No, no, they didn't. They did it. They, they did it with the Miles figure too. Oh, and with the original. Justin Bieber, I mean, Peter Bar Parker head. It looks straight, but with this bootleg, he doesn't look straight. He looks to the side. McFarlane side eye again. But uh, it's pretty cool on here. Anyways, let me just put it over there. Now, my favorite accessory, the wide eye accessory. Now, you probably don't know how I feel about wide eye accessories, but I completely love them. You've seen me put, like, mostly when you see my Miles Morales action figure bootleg, you'd see me putting on the wide eye all the time. Yes, I love those wide eyes. Now, a little bonus glasses. Pretty cool. It's made to recreate this scene from also typing on the computer now onto the web accessories this guy has these web accessories which look so cool honestly it's to re like dude it's honestly so cool it's made to recreate the train scene the the, the train scene I, I don't know if he was doing the train i don't i don't know uh, i i am short-term memory loss anyways so the cool thing about these is that it's made to recreate the scene from at the start of the Spider-Verse where basically Peter Parker is pulling basically a train back against a bridge. While the, I'm pretty sure Doc Ock did that like in the Tobey Maguire, um, the same, they, Sam Raimi trilogy. The iconic scene and these were made 
to you to do the exact same scene from the movie. Now you get your typical you get your typical web accessory. Pretty cool. And yeah. Now to point out the stand accessory. Now this one is cool. I like this stand a lot. Except I don't. I really don't. I don't know. I don't I haven't really tried it yet. So so I actually have tried it, but like with it, you gotta like you gotta actually like I don't know like I don't know how to How do you do this again? Oh uh, Okay, it does have these in there, but I don't know how to take them off, so kind of weird. So yeah, he's got a cool stand and all that, legitimate crazy. Okay, so now, now that we've gone through that, we can now go on to the articulation and stuff like that. So. Be prepared for your little fuzzy eyes because now we're going to be talking about articulation. Okay, so now we're going to be checking out the articulation of this figure and its properties. So we're going to be taking off the blue tack now because we're going to be posing mid air. So the legs go up a fair bit. These legs go really good so does this leg now at the back of the legs there are these big dents in the thighs now these are made to rep, rep up the articulation it's pretty cool and all and pretty cool you have oh god damn it uh, what more can you expect now you have your standard waist articulation, standard torso articulation, and that happens, yeah, doesn't matter. Now, I have put this head on sticky tack because the neck is a bit short when you put it actually on the peg, so like, I just put it on... Yeah. But this is the stand. I think this would be the standard for the articulation of the head. Now, these arms are on ball joints. And guess what? They go back so far. Like, look at these. For ball joints, this is actually crazy. Companies like SH Figure Arts and and other companies like well that wasn't that far but you would know if you've seen it in action other companies like sh figure arts and uh and marvel legends and nezco and, and a bunch of others they use complicated joints for it all sentinel uses it's just a ball joint crazy you have your is that double joint? Yeah, it's double jointed. Double jointed elbow. Wrist hinge. Your standard wrist hinge. And yeah, that that's basically it. Now, my thoughts for this figure? Great. Worth my money. It was very great. I loved it. Bye guys.